Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and for this pick a card reading, it is the Tale of Peter Rabbit themed. Now I do have a little bit of a backstory with some of this stuff. <laughs> That's why this stuff is all out. If you want to skip ahead to the reading, let me quickly just let you know, I used my earrings as markers for the pile. So this is a little sugar bowl. This is a little teacup with cherries on it. And this is a creamer. I don't know. Is it a creamer bowl? What are they? What, I just, <laughs> the creamer thing. I don't know. So there is that as well. Again, if you want to skip ahead, the timestamps will be available to you. Now, if you want to know the backstory of all of this, first and foremost, for all of you tea set fanatics out there, no, these are not from the same set, okay? We're sort of mad hattering it <laughs> today <laughs> because when I bought the teapot, the cups weren't available and I bought this cup and saucer and the teapot wasn't available. So this is where they live. I do have some of the cups and the sugar bowl and the creamer thing that matches this coming. Fingers crossed that it <laughs> gets here safely. Okay, but the inspiration for all of this came when I found these cards, these Peter Rabbit cards. All right, now the stationery, the earrings, and this teacup and saucer all came from this really incredible store in Salem, Massachusetts. It is called Marble Fawn uh, Books and Gifts, I believe. I believe that's the proper name of the store. They're really wonderful there. It's kind of, I think I'm gonna make it like an every fall kind of tradition to just go and buy a little something from there. I get my Christmas cards there for my family. I mean, it's just such a cool shop. Don't forget, Salem isn't just about the witch trials, okay? <laughs> it has a very rich literary history. Uh, Nathaniel Hawthorne, House of Seven Gables, the House of Seven Gables is there. I mean, it's really incredible. So I highly encourage you to check out that store. Get into the card reading, just tune in and see which pile is speaking to you. Okay, group one, let's see what you have. Remember, you, this would be the sugar bowl if that's what you chose. And we have a couple of cabochons for you. Your first card is spirituality. This is priority number one here, <laughs> okay? And I think I just kicked the camera. Anyway, spirituality is priority number one. And then we have wisdom and your secret garden cards are present journey into the, into the garden to escape the two eternities, the past and the future. And then we have play among the grass and wild violets lie undisturbed little secrets to uncover. Don't forget Peter Rabbit was all about getting himself into trouble by breaking the rules. <laughs> so where can you get into a little more mischief? Where can you play a little bit and go explore? Uh, and in this, when we're talking about spirituality and wisdom and being present and allowing yourself to be in a space of joy, this is asking you to take a break. Now, I know when we talk about spirituality, a lot of times people are like, how in the heck is that taking a break? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Have you ever had like a really, really, really busy day and you just need to decompress and you stop and maybe you go outside for a little bit or you just breathe in and meditate and you know what I'm saying? Just You're just letting go. Something opens up for you, all right? And this shows you where you can explore a little bit more. But those of you who chose this pile... I'm getting a very firm <laughs> feeling here that a lot of you are just very surface level life focused and that a lot of you get your little daily hits of inspiration from people who just, you know, they smile on your face, they tell you what you want to hear and you're like, I feel better now. And then you just go on with your life. Well, you might be saying, well, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with that is it is unplugged. 
Some of those people that are smiling in your face and telling you what you want to hear are doing some, you know, not so nice things behind the scenes. You know, maybe they're doing something kind of unethical, <laughs> right? To just seem like they're an inspiration, right? So just be careful with that and have wisdom about how you approach your spirituality. I know that sounds weird, but <laughs> you know, when, when you're listening to someone and what they're saying is just, I don't mean does it resonate as in, I don't want to hear that, or that doesn't resonate as in, I already have got life figured out and I don't need to hear it from you. I'm talking about resonate like, oh, I feel the peace around that. I, I felt my heart light up. I felt the truth of it. As opposed to, I feel completely constricted. My stomach knotted up. I feel really anxious right now. I just need to get away from this scenario kind of thing, right? So you will understand how to make that distinction when you give yourself a chance to rest. I am recording this in 2020. This is the year that, even though this reading is timeless, this was the year that commanded that we stop production and figure out what needed to be fixed so that it didn't just blow up in our faces. And this has been the year where we really had to take some care to not give over to a trauma response. And if any of us started to feel that, that kind of fear just bubbling up, bubbling up, bubbling up, Remembering to be grateful, especially for anyone who made it through and you never got sick. Be grateful. Yeah, well, I lost my job. You did not get sick. You were still alive. You have much to be grateful for. You know, a lot of people, and you know, not to diminish the fact that people have lost their jobs, you know, but you now have this opportunity to sit with yourself and to ask, is this what I want to continue doing? So many people are doing that, <laughs> right? They're reinventing themselves. They are, you know, figuring out what truly brings them joy and they're giving themselves that chance. Now play in this context, I think is saying, you know, again, rest a little bit, but give yourself a chance to explore something different. Are you going to be changing your job? For some of you, this is a very general reading. So for some of you, it's not just about the job. It's about how you approach your life in general. Like when you get up in the morning, what's your first thought? What's your first action? And unfortunately for most of us, it's, oh, it's time to get up. <laughs> Right? That's the first thought. And the first action is to pick up our phones, start checking emails, right? So allow yourself to relax, do something playful. Uh, you know, I didn't end up telling the story of why I have a Peter Rabbit in a book. 2012, I think it was the Morgan Library in New York City was having uh, an exhibit and I went to it and Peter Rabbit and The Secret Garden, those were two of my favorite books as a little kid. This was one, especially I remember when I was five years old, might have been even a little bit younger. I would always bring this book up to my mom and ask if she would read it to me. And I just felt so close to Peter Rabbit. <laughs> I don't know if I can relate or what, but this meant a lot to me. And they had these little sets for sale. Uh, again, I believe it was at the Morgan Library. Uh, and I will be telling the story because I forgot to tell it in the intro in each section. So if you ended up choosing two piles, sorry for the repeat. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I, I just had to get this. But when we talk about play, I went ahead and got this set to honor my inner child because it brought me back. It really, I loved Peter Rabbit so much. Okay. So, and by the way, Peter Rabbit, the tale of Peter Rabbit is by Beatrix Potter. And if I remember correctly, I think she did the illustrations too which I think is amazing. All right. So your little cabochons that came out for you is codes and heart. I have to get my things together here. Um, and I almost want to put them like this, like heart codes. 
honoring your heart, being present. Don't over plan the future, which is probably going to change anyway. Try not to dwell on the past or if your past is coming up, maybe it's an opportunity to heal it, but letting the heart codes open up. All right. And giving yourself a chance to explore something new and fun. All right. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye. Hello, group two. It occurred to me with group one, I never did explain why I have the Peter Rabbit stuffed animal and the book. Uh, if I remember correctly, the Morgan Library was having an exhibit, a Beatrix Potter exhibit back in 2012. And as I was explaining to group one, I loved this book as a little girl. This and The Secret Garden, these were like my favorite books. And I would actually take the Peter Rabbit book up to my mom and ask her to read it to me. And so when they were having this exhibit, <laughs> they had these little sets. And I think that's why I got so set when I saw these cards and everything. It was just like, it brought me back to being like four or five years old. And I just absolutely loved and adored the story of Peter Rabbit. All right. So as a reminder, group two, yours was the little teacup with cherries on it. Let's see what your cards are. Mmm, aspiration. Interesting. Dreams. <laughs> Check you guys out. See where this story is going? All right, your little secret garden cards. Joy. Make time for the little things today. And then beginnings. Don't be afraid to start small. What in the world? Check out this. Wait, we got to get to these. Hold on. I need more of the story. <laughs> we have awareness and abundance. You guys, oh, you are very, very fortunate because there is something that you have worked through. There is something that you have healed. You have made a decision. Now, some of you are going to be listening to this going, what are you talking about? This is the wrong <laughs> group for me. I've never been so lost. Uh, no, give yourself a chance here, okay? Give yourself a chance. Your awareness, your understanding and learning more about yourself and what needs to be released so that you can bring in more abundance. And look at, look at the story that's created when I just moved those. Now you're into abundance awareness. And you're figuring out that your way to abundance is through heightened joy and giving yourself this chance. Look at this. There are things you want to accomplish. You have these big dreams. And you have a chance now. You have this chance. Now, some of you are, you're holding back because, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody comments, yeah, I'm waiting on you know, whatever, that person to tell me about the job. I'm waiting on this, that, and the other, right? When in actuality, you are creating your own opportunities here. So for some, again, these are general readings, this would be entrepreneurship, being an entrepreneur, right? So what do you want to create? Now, being an entrepreneur is not for everybody, because it, <laughs> it comes with a lot of failure to begin with, all right? And so it's not something that you should just jump into without making sure you are ready for that, I guess. Ready, you have a plan in place, you know, you know how to go forward. But please don't let your dreams go. I feel like that is so important for you to hear. Please do not let your dreams go. You know, as it says here... Uh, don't be afraid to start small here in the beginnings card. Um, oh gosh, I, I wish I would have read this again before I started filming, but I think Beatrix Potter uh, wrote Peter Rabbit to, what was it, the little boy that she took care of? And it was in letters. And she would draw for him as well. And who would have ever thought that she would become, <laughs> you know, one of the big you know, authors of all time, you know, and some of you are like, that's a little extreme. No, she is a very important author. She did a lot of important things for women in her time. 
And we still feel the benefits of that now. She's a very important figure. And how did she start? By telling stories in a letter. And for what? She wanted to entertain a child. Now, that seems small enough. And yet here we are in 2020. I'm doing a whole reading themed around it. And I bet as soon as you saw it, depends on where you are in the world and if, you know, if this was even a thing in your part of the world. But, you know, I'm in the United States. If you saw this, you knew who this was. Come on. You knew who this was. Okay. Wait, wasn't there just a movie a couple of years ago too? I didn't see that, but whatever. So, <laughs> so the idea here is what is this inspiration, uh, this aspiration that you have, this dream? where where's that seed because a lot of you are just saying nah, it could never be nothing is sadder than watching talent go to waste and you know what there might be a lot of things to learn around what you're trying to do there could be some steps in place let's say you want to be an artist and you start practicing your art and you really mess it up that's okay do you love it? If the answer is yes, then you can work through anything. If you say, you know what, I don't know if I really like this. And you have to really evaluate this because we as humans, we tend to not like things or want to get away from things that we're not good at or we think we're not good at. <laughs> it didn't feed our ego fast enough. And so we're going to give up on it, right? So just make sure you're not going down that road where you're giving up just because it's getting tough. But if you truly enjoy the process, then stick with it. Stick with it. The other message here, we're talking about dreams and joy. It is not about being famous. Some of you need to hear this. It's not about being famous. Oh my God, all I want to be is famous. All you're going to be is in a lot of trouble. Seriously, what are you doing with your energy? That's what you're, go after something that you love. Something that brings you joy. Where's your awareness? Where is your expanded consciousness? Because when you do something that you love, the abundance follows. You know this. People talk about this all the time. This is a common message out there. <laughs> so, you know, the whole idea here is even if you feel like your dream is small, don't put these parameters around it that are defined by what somebody else's experience was. And then you give up because it doesn't look like that. Do it for the love. Have yourself a brand new beginning and follow your dreams. Have awareness around it. Make it grounded but give yourself this chance. Okay. So we are going to leave it there, guys. I am sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye. Hello, group three. So I realized that I forgot to mention the story behind why I have the Peter Rabbit stuffed animal in the book. So if you chose more than one pile, I'm sorry for the repeat story. I'll make it quick. But uh, I was explaining that I believe it was the Morgan Museum in New York City in 2012, they were having a Beatrix Potter uh, exhibit. And Peter Rabbit was one of my favorite characters when I was a kid, one of my favorite books. I was just a little girl going up and handing the book to my mom and asking her to read it to me. So it has a lot, <laughs> a lot of meaning. And they were selling this little set there. And I just, I had to have it. I absolutely had to have it. And then when I saw these cards at the Marble Fawn, uh, bookshop I was like and to be clear I didn't travel there I just got it online they have a great website um, full of great stuff is what I mean they just have lots of cute little <laughs> as you see here um, but that just really inspired me and it really took me back so I hope you enjoy it's just a quickie little reading here but let's get into it for you uh, you as a reminder chose the the creamer thingy okay <laughs> Go ahead. If you know the official name of what this is called, let me know. Right now, it shall be known as creamer thingy. Okay. So there's the, <laughs> let's get your cards. We have courage. Mm -hmm. Very nice. 
And we have thoughtfulness. And your secret garden cards are forgiveness. A crushed flower still gives off a sweet scent. Here, let's get this guy out of the way. And grow. All flowers must grow through dirt. So you've been through it. Mm-hmm. Let me get the full story here. So your little cabochons here are grounded and hiding. So something has hurt you immensely. And um, this is amazing. Isn't it amazing how things will come together? I mean, it tells a very clear story. This, you know, whenever we talk about, you know, someone's pain, people immediately go, yeah, I went and I had that breakup. And yeah, that's a painful thing. And I totally get you. But this is not what this is. This isn't a one-time thing. This is something that has occurred over and over and over and over and over again to the point where maybe you've gotten to a space where you believe this is just how life is. And maybe this is what you deserve. It is not what you deserve. You do not deserve to be bullied. You do not deserve to have people take advantage of you. You do not deserve to have people, you know, exert control over you. Nothing's more infuriating when it's like pretend control. You know what I mean? And they're just trying to make themselves feel better. But this is asking and calling for you to have the courage to forgive so you can grow. And in the future, this thoughtfulness, you know how not to be at this point. Okay? And you're being asked to come out of hiding. You're okay. You're safe. Now, if you are listening to this and maybe you haven't gotten to safety yet, please make sure that you reach out for help, whatever that looks like where you are located. Okay? There's always help. There's always a way to get you to safety. Okay? But as I said, this is not someone necessarily who's in victim mentality. Some of you, you know, because it's a white audience, so some of you are watching this and you might be gripping your heart and saying, yes, I've been through so much in my life. And you're kind of going down, like you're kind of hitting on it, but the thing is, is that you never actually got to the root cause of the pain. You don't know why you cycle the way that you do. And then there's another group of you. You're just sort of the strong, silent type. And you cry at night when nobody else is looking. Now, you might be listening to this and you might be like, because I feel like people scoff. I mean, it would be a very weird reaction to scoff if you chose this and you feel like your life is perfect. Nobody's life is perfect. And as I was given in that first example there, there are a lot of people who just think they, they're so... I don't want to put such a heavy word in here, but like so traumatized that they break and then they never look back and then it never gets resolved and you don't want to look at it. You chose this pile for a reason. So even if you're listening to this, you say, this is so not me. It's you. Now, I'm not encouraging you to go looking for issues in your life. I'm not encouraging that. But no one's life is perfect. Balance. We're not asking you to play the victim. We're not telling you to pull on other people's energy to feed you. And yet on the other side, as I said, the strong silent types, this other group, where you're constantly having to heal yourself, you're constantly having to just kind of maybe make it on your own, and then you do watch people who are like, oh, I'm in so much pain. And everyone comes rushing to their aid. And meanwhile, you're standing back and thinking, if you only knew what's happened. It is time to tap into your courage. Okay, you can work with Archangel Michael to help you with that. To forgive. Forgiveness is not about the other person. It's about freeing you. You're going to come out of hiding, be very grounded. Again, because when you start coming through this process of forgiveness, the anger is going to come up. So you need to be grounded. You need to be earthed, okay? 
so that you can grow. As it says, uh, all flowers must go through the dirt. It's funny you got grounded and this is a Peter Rabbit themed thing here. It's all about the garden and uh, the farmer's garden. And it says, you know, this is how you're going to grow. This is how you're going to transform. And look at this beautiful card, which would be very easily overlooked in most situations. Thoughtfulness. Have you ever looked around and realized how often people are not thoughtful anymore? Or were they ever? You become this gentle, strong, empathetic, perfectly balanced, <laughs> eventually, between head and heart, thoughtful, beautiful person. And do you know where that came from? From learning what the dark side of humanity could look like. Or understanding what dark circumstances could affect you as a person. But you are coming through. You are growing. You are making it. So give yourself this chance. Okay, we're going to leave it there. I am sending you so much love and take care.